Look, shoot to me. He said, but at the end, she knew, she, the, the parents learned that uh, he was a good guy. The Muslims don't really do that. Just little stories that happen. Mm -hmm. That happen like, yeah, that some some people do that are bad. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. That's good. Mashallah. You come to the house. Yeah, that's good. That's what it, why we have to have good manners, treat people with uh, respect, because that's Dawa. If you treat people good then they get a good picture of Islam. If you treat people bad, they're going to look at you and say, oh, the Muslims treat people bad. So that's why you should always try to try to show good manners. And the Prophet Sallallahu he said, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, He said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there isn't a thing that weighs heavier on the scale of the believers than good manners. So that means having good manners is one of the strongest things you can have on your scale in the day of judgment. Treating people good. And Allah hates bad speech. So when a person has a bad mouth, you know, they're speaking bad about people, they're lying, they're cheating, uh, they're doing all kind of things, sinful things, with the tongue, because there's so many things bad you can do uh, by through speech, then Allah hates that. He hates it. So that shows us that Allah loves and Allah hates. He, he loves certain things and He hates certain things. He hates when people have bad speech. And... Uh, also, the Prophet ﷺ said that the two things that if you safeguard them, that I guarantee that you'll get paradise. So there are two things that if you protect those two things, you can go to paradise, bidn Allah Ta'ala. And he said, the thim wa faraj. He said it's the mouth, and, or, or you know, the tongue and your private parts. You protect your tongue by you protect your tongue by um, you know speaking good. You know even if you get mad, you you have to watch your tongue. You have to you have to think about what you're going to say before you say it. Because some people they don't think, and they just say something quick. They curse or they get mad easy. That's doing the opposite. So the person who can guard their tongue, then they're 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 on their way to doing something that will help them get to paradise and then the other thing is protecting your private parts meaning not doing the haram like uh, you know people who commit zina you know having girlfriends and, and stuff like this you know this is not a permissible in Islam you get you have to in Islam we just get married and that's that's the only way that we can be lawful like that so if you uh, can protect that. You don't do haram things with your private parts, and you don't speak evil speech. Then the Prophet ﷺ said that you will uh, get paradise bi Allah Taala. That He guarantees you paradise. So those are some of the characteristics of the believers, of someone who's strong in their iman. Is they're watching their tongue. They're being cautious about what they're saying. They're not going to speak about Allah, uh, uh, say lies about Allah speak about things they don't have knowledge about or they're not going to curse people and speak ill of people but rather they're guarding their tongue so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those people I mean and help us to safeguard our our actions our tongues and our private parts by doing the halal mashallah it's, it's very beautiful here also, another thing which is good is, is saying good things. So, a lot of times, trying to dhikr and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot, then you, uh, by remembering Allah, you get ajr. And this is a good thing that keeps your heart clean. This trails, I used to come on these trails many, many years ago, mashallah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.